All right, what's up, everybody? This is going to be a quick look at what I now use for my, my home firewall, proxy server, um, and all that stuff. So I used to use IPCOP, and um, that worked fairly well, but then I got tired of it, went back to my Linksys router um, with DDWRT, and then I, got, I wanted to... I was having a little bit of an issue with um, bandwidth, and uh, so I decided to install PFSense on one of my old computers. So let's take a quick look um, go ahead and open it up here. This is the web interface for it. I kind of customized my home page. It has just a bunch of like quick view uh, dashboard widgets or whatever you want to call it. And um, there's a lot of cool features. What I do like about this versus the IP cop is the way you install packages, which um, will include stuff like a proxy server and different ways of uh, monitoring bandwidth and all this kind of stuff. There's a, there's a ton of packages in here. Here, In fact, these are the ones I have installed and available is just, I mean, a lot. And so it makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, than uh, like the way you have to do it in IP cop. Of course, you got, you know, rules in there where I port forward certain ports to access my home computer from outside and everything, but uh, I wanted it for the proxy server. That way it caches a lot of the Websites that are um, that we access a lot caches a lot of the data on it, so kind of helps with the bandwidth issues, especially now that we got a couple couple different people on TVs that are watching Netflix at the same time and maybe gaming and you know streaming whatever. Old buddy at work, um, he ended up installing this at a library for their uh, you know their web filter, and it's working out good. You can go in here and tell it exactly what. Uh, what you want to block and deny. So like for example here you, you can do um, alcohol. So deny any access to alcohol sites. Blah. So then you can also create different groups. For example parents or maybe you want to name it uh, non-restricted or whatever for administrators wherever you're installing this thing at. I want to show you the bandwidth D. Um, this is a, a basic log of, of how much bandwidth we're using and actually per IP address. You can see a total of 25 gigs. I mean, it's got some cool graphs. You can get, you can break it down by, you know, a little bit farther. Like, let's say this one right here, which is our media PC. Show you the graph for that. Um, that's just one of the logs. Let's go into diagnostic or status. Where else was it? RRD graphs. I like this one. This one kind of gives you a brief. Uh, actually, they got a ton of different graphs. And this one's going to be by a one minute average. Okay, this is a five minute average of how much bandwidth we're using for a one day. This is one week on a one hour average. Here's a month, three months, one year, and four years. So it's really cool if if you have it for a long time and you're trying to troubleshoot some bandwidth issues, maybe your school district or library or whatever is um, using more web-based software so and you're, you're noticing a pattern where it all of a sudden started using a ton of bandwidth and you need to bring in another T1 line or switch you know make some changes so uh, that's pretty cool I just want to give you a quick overview of what I'm using and I've, I have been using for oh shoot let's see three months maybe a couple months now a few months but um, it's working out great I never have to touch it it's it just works um, you know the initial setup you have to do a, a little bit here and there but it's not that bad um, if you'd like a more detailed video on certain areas and certain subjects you know just post it down below and um, if I get enough of them I'll make a, a video